Howdy folks, I'm making this tutorial to help you see F1 TV in the best way possible, as their web application sometimes prevents you from doing just that. Let's start. Firstly, let's find F1 Viewer on GitHub. F1 Viewer GitHub. That's the first one. And check the installation guidelines. Installation. Let's get the latest. As I'm on Windows 10, so you can just 64. Right click on my PC. It's a 64 operating system, so we get the 64 bit zip. We'll download. Extract to download, and that was it. Now I can just simply run it, and we can easily log in and start see everything. As this is a console application, uh, you can select uh, the tab or shift tab to navigate through the menus or using the mouse to open or close the menus. You will need a Formula One TV subscription because if not whatever stream you open you'll get an authorized error. I will then log in with my subscription If I now open one of the feeds, I can easily copy the URL of the feed. As you probably already glanced at it, we do have an error. Both MPV and VLC are unavailable. And that is why we only have the possibility to copy the URL to the clipboard. So let's install MPV and VLC just to see how this goes. Let's start with the VLC which is the most used. See Windows download certificate is not valid it ends exactly today. We know them and uh, if we could just go to the Windows 64 bit and we'll start done. We'll install now we have let's open F one viewer again again. And it still says VLC is not available. This is because VLC is not in the Windows path. That environmental variable that Windows has. Let's try to fix that. Let's then right click PC, properties, change settings, advanced environmental variables. There's no such thing on the user variables but it's the system variables we want. We click Edit. There is no VLC. So let's add it. Let's open VLC. Right click, right click, choose Properties. Pick up the Start In. I copy. 
cancel, close, new, paste, delete the double quotes, and OK, 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 and close. There is no need to restart. Let's just open FM Viewer again. And the only issue is we did not find MPV because we didn't install it yet. But now, if we open anything, we will also see the option to play with VLC. And it will start the feed. No worries about the, the logging if you have a lot of errors. As long as you have this, the feed, everything is okay. Let's find the MPV. And you'll see there's no installation files as we are used to. So let's use Chocolate. It's an amazing tool for Windows. That you can install as a package manager. Chocolate will use Windows PowerShell and we do must ensure that get execution policy is not restricted. They do suggest using bypass to bypass the policy to get things installed or I'll sign it for quite a bit more security. So let's do run execution policy. First you need to open PowerShell as admin copy paste if it runs restricted run set execution policy copy right click all that is it if we do get now it's all signed and We'll just copy and right click, enter. It will install Chocolate. This is it. Now, with this on, we can easily install MPV just by Choco install MPV. It will ask if we want to run the script. We say all. And after a while, we will be able to That's it. We have MPV installed. So let us see if it did work. We can now visit PowerShell, run F1 Viewer, and no problems there. Let us open something. And we now have play with MPV. And it will start the stream. For the next part, I will install Sublime. 
copy PowerShell run as admin yes It's a very easy way to have all your software up to date because you can just do shoko upgrade all and here we'll see all the packages you have and install them to the latest versions now we have sublime we can just Confirm we have Sublime. Let's check the advanced configuration. Here in the config, we have that there are a settings file or a configuration that we can change something for our F1 viewer. The two main options are the custom playback options and the multi comments. Custom playback options will allow us to create a new menu on the way on the RF1 viewer. Multi comments will allow us to run multi comments in just one. This is an example of open main and pit feed. It will execute MPV and the URL and the pit you can just execute another comment. Let's see how we can do this. It says on Windows let's open the app data. And there's the F1 viewer and the config JSON, which we're going to open with Sublime. Let's copy the first one and instead of no, let's paste this one. I do not have FFmpeg, but let's see what does this do. There's a dot, so we control S to save. Let's go to downloads, fire up the viewer. And now we have download with FFmpeg. This group was not found in the path. Correct. We do not have it, but now we have created a new menu. Let's do MPV no border URL. And here we'll say stream with MPV no border. We save, we close, and we open again. I'm passing the no border, and when will it open? I have no borders. Another useful configuration is when we open several streams we might not have the bandwidth to open in full HD. As we can see here for the MPV we do have some different videos resolution 720, 576, 432 360. We can actually choose, as an example, let's choose the 720. 
which here it says use the minus minus video equals two. So let's do that. Let's create a new menu. Let's have a comma to separate. We know it's no border, but let's do 720p. And let's create one more parameter, minus minus, vid equals 2. You can choose 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, depending on the resolution you prefer. Let's save it. There's the X. And restart F1 viewer. Now we'll probably going to see the 720. And if we open, we can see we are also passing the parameter v equals 2. And in fact opens the 720 vid. Let us do a little bit more with the help of Reddit. Let's open the discussion. Let's try this one. Copy. Let us create all those and I will put vid3 as well just so we have enough bandwidth and size we save we restart our F1 viewer And let us do top left the main feed. Let's do top right. That's it. And uh, bottom for Nico. And let us do Danny Rick. on the bottom right oh that's one too many too many clicks bottom right But you can see where I'm going with this. And there we have four streams. I'll arrange it correctly.